well so what a bitcoin breakout and also altcoin altcoins will follow so good to see that the market is in good has and um, inflows is just popping up my name is Mike Denkler from Coronex and from the Crypto Mites Global Movement I am bringing you today the most important crypto news technical analysis altcoin NFT DeFi gems to keep you updated and educated I should state that nothing in this video is a financial advice so everything just for your education and entertainment purposes only so guys smash those like push the bell and notification or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so smashing those like is helping out the youtube algorithm so let's go and check out our favorite bubble chart we see that bitcoin is up 3.2 percent and just uh <clears throat> crossed 27,000 and now consolidating back also ethereum crossed 2500 us dollar and uh, ethereum is up 1.1 percent and some ai coins like uh, <clears throat> bitsensor tau is up 10 percent rune torchain is up uh, 12 percent akash network is up peat network deem the new the new uh, token on celestia is up and also beam one of our favorite gaming projects is up so overall <coughs> looking really really good and healthy let's go and check out our favorite indicator the crypto fear and greed index it is at 72 so we are back in the grid zone so in the investor sentiment is really bullish let's go and check out our first news bitcoin price passes 46,000 after s p 500 reaches historic highs so s p 500 uh, reached a new all-time high and also crossed 5,000 5,000 us dollar levels so let's check what they are seeing here okay today bitcoin sent to out by gbtc grayscale comes out to be 3.7 uh, btc approximately 170 million us dollar worse slight decrease from yesterday so it's decreasing day by day okay since the october's 27th low the s p 500 is now up uh, 900 points trading resources according to kobalashi letters this means that the s p has added nearly 8.5 trillion in market cap in just over three months truly a historic run for stock for stocks so guys this is s p 500 and in 8.5 trillion us dollar was added in this single period from the middle of october it's likely that any dip in equities will continue to be bought as under allocated investors chase returns on the back of this bullish sentiment btc and ethereum are likely to follow coupled with the btc halving and ethereum spot etf narratives btc usd for 40,000 horizontal support had on a weekly closing basis trend channel is in intact upper boundary acts as resistance around 48 to 49,000 dollar. so yes we have this channel as well and now we are at the upper trend line of this um, channel and also we are raging in this channel since the uh, deepest levels in 2022 december so guys let's go and check out our next news about bitcoin etfs bitcoin etfs record a uh, third largest inflow day as btc price rises above 46,000. so guys if we are looking on this these are the daily inflows and outflows and and and, and as we see let's make this bigger okay so here are ib this is the blackrock ctf um, fidelities and others and gbtc so you see that gbtc has just outflows but the, these these outflows are slowing down and yesterday despite despite the 100 million outflows there was a 400 million net inflows so this is huge 400 million net inflows and all altogether this is that 2 billion uh, net inflows if i'm right here so eric balkuna is also talking about that uh, i did it under a month trading more than both gbtc and bito so i bit uh, bitcoin trust 
so this is the grayscale bitcoin trust the outflow was almost 6 billion and the volume uh, yeah, so this is the last volume and assets under management now grayscale is managing 20,500 uh, 20.5 uh, 20 billion um, it was the reverse of uh, uh, ETFs and the BlackRock is almost managing 3 billion so guys good to see this chart so yes total volume total flows yeah so the total flows is seven more than seven billion and the net flows when we are excluding gbtc is 1.5 billion is the net flows so guys let's go and check out our next news that the new ethereum standard is rising ethereum experiment erc 4.4 is an nft cryptocurrency hybrid and it's already generated 87 million us dollar in trades so ARC 4.4 is a novel token standard on ethereum combining the attributes of nfts and fungible tokens for nft traders that means more liquidity and trading flexibility so more liquidity and trading flexibility so this is something that between nfts and cryptocurrencies and also we have some pandora and we have some other uh, other uh, projects that are uh, popping up in in this space so also it worth to look uh, into this because this could be also the next narrative next important news about airdrops that pete airdrop pete network airdrop put 140 million into crypto users wallets now around a second is here so pete network is a oracle DeFi oracle on solana and that was a huge huge uh, airdrop uh, so airdrop hunters made 140 million and now if you are using some uh, connected decentralized applications that is connected to pete network then uh, you might be eligible for the second round of this airdrop so really really worse to use different um, applications DEXs on solana just like jupiter and others so guys let's go and check out our next news so uh, you know at the uh, beginning of the week that was a solana outage the solana blockchain just stopped working so guys what an insane thing and solana price rebounds uh, as network restarts after outage so that was um, that was that was an outage on the solana network and the price plummeted a little bit but not too much so the outage lasted for four hours and 46 minutes before it was finally resolved mainnet validators has to restart their nodes with new software from solana labs that included a pass to address the issue so guys i don't know what was the real cause of this uh, outage but uh, actually yes so this is not not it's this is not good but this happened uh, the last outage on solana was in last year and here is why the recent solana outage took almost a day to resolve yeah so it uh, also it took some additional uh, additional hours so this is how it looks like when the solana outage is, is under construction but uh, there was a bug that came from the testnet so guys important news about uh, ens domain servers that ens ethereum name servers enters partnership with domain giant godaddy to link uh, dns with ethereum names so dot dot ethereum names so there will be different uh, wallets and um, uh, uh, domains um, bind to these wallets and dot eth will be uh, the domain we are not just linking domain names to blockchain addresses we are creating a bridge between two generations of internet technology this collaboration ensures that our users can enjoy the best of both worlds with minimal minimal fr friction so guys overall that's a good news so now let's go to twitter and definitely check out uh, my twitter feed create a twitter account for yourself and follow at miklos then clear also push this bell notification all and be sure that you are following Corion platform and laserpunk underscore 
gods are upcoming nft launchpad so be sure that you are following both so my two favorite ai projects a uh, join efforts to build decentralized ai great initiative um, ait protocol at bit uh, bit sensor so bit tensor bit tensor so they are partnering up give a like and share breaking news bitcoin etfs officially the, the most popular etfs in wall street history so assets after one month in uh, this is billion if i'm right billion so these are uh, ibit fbtc so these are bitcoin arc invest so actually these are bitcoin products esc 4.4 token standard aims to be a hybrid of asc uh, 721 and asc 20 it's an nft that has fungible function fractionization built in so fungible fractionization so it's a kind of nft but uh, you have some fractions of this nft so quite interesting aip 4844 will lower gas fees for ethereum layer twos so you see that uh, a dex transaction on these layer twos will be much much cheaper but on but on the ethereum mainnet it will still uh, a little bit expensive altcoin season is ahead of if uh, is ahead of us so altcoins market cap in uh, 2021 and 2024 and this is the wall street cheat sheet and now we are just entering this phase that you see that we entered in the last altcoin cycle cool wormhorn could be one of the biggest airdrop in 2024 definitely let me check out and uh, use wormhorn after gbtc outflows overall nice inflow into ET, uh, etfs building up so nice inflow is building up net bitcoin etfs flow check this out so this is the net flow as you see daily etf flows the yellow and total net btc flows to etfs okay etf holdings from uh, this, this is also quite interesting just check this out so this is to inherit your crypto so this is quite funny that uh, final words to my family don't forget to go into my leave wallet and i'll take my tia this takes 21 days then go to and uh, to eigenlayer and stake my stake deed go to manta and uh, and bridge back my uh, ethereum manta so guys this is a quite quite funny instructions inflow from other etfs financial institutions fomo is coming so you see that fidelity is allocating one percent of its most conservative etf to bitcoin so there is a conservative etf that it's already running with different financial assets and it will allocating one percent of uh, the managed funds into their bitcoin etf so quite interesting and uh, you see investments great depth US equities, international equities, Canadian equities, and 1% cryptocurrencies and 1% global assets. So Bitcoin spot ETF inflow, inflow is strong. Uh, let's check this chart. You see the different dates, and also you see the inflows and the outflows, and this is the total net. So 1.7 billion is the total flow. so china ppi inflation is negative in china so Ch guys in china there is defla deflation and guys as many countries exporting uh, different things uh, 
or importing different things from China, then uh, I think with time we will see price decreasing in those countries like in the US and others. Bitcoin two week comparing moves before breaking prior all time highs, uh, close well within the Fibonacci zone, test 61.8 uh, Fibonacci level and parabola beyond prior all time highs kicks in. So this is a Fibonacci levels. So Bitcoin is almost picture perfect with the two previous cycles from the low. So guys, I like this chart. So these are charts from the low and the performance in different uh, cycles. And now we are following the path from the cycle low. Bitcoin marks a similar ascending consolidation which we have seen in the previous uh, cycles. So guys, check this out. So some consolidation, ascending consolidation, uh, like uh, in a wedge or, or a kind of wedge and then breaking out from this wedge. And also sometimes we do have some fake outs. So be careful with the fake outs. Bitcoin versus S&P 500 in comparison one week. Uh, weekly chart, do you see the inverse? This is a head and shoulder, but an inverse head and shoulder. So do you see this inverse head and shoulder? Yeah, yeah, we can see something. We can see and now almost reaching the pri uh, price target and also new all-time highs just like the S&P 500 did 25 potential projects that may be listed on Binance in 2024 Pixel and Ronin make an attempt to take over blockchains gaming as of a number of transactions on Ronin network Pixel Online is launching on the Binance launchpad so you can stake BNB on the Binance launchpad and you will get Pixel when they launch Staking on Atom, Osmosis and Tia. I like this <laughs> Ferrari Park. Ethereum is waking up. Mainnet activation of uh, one, uh, four, 4844 is coming. Uh, so this is on the um, testnet, but it will come to the mainnet. And you see that we are reaching 25,000. Best Bitcoin explanation ever, former US President Obama is saying that Bitcoin is like everyone walking around with a Swiss bank in their pocket. So guys, listen this. Where the encryption is so strong that there's no key, there's no door at all. What mechanisms do we have available to even do simple things like tax enforcement? Because if in fact you can't... So DeFi swap is heating up. 500 million in trading volume on D.5. So guys, I like this. I like this. <clears throat> Just Bitcoin. This is from Michael Saylor. What an amazing masterpiece. What an amazing masterpiece. Ron is bigger than Ethereum Matic and bigger than Soul in terms of daily active users. So the Ronin chain is bigger. Ron Pixar are leading the bull market. Bitcoin and Ethereum got outperformed by Meta. So Meta is Facebook. And let's see when uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum will overcome Meta. So that was a huge increase in Meta. Bitcoin and Ethereum got outperformed by Zuck, Zuckerberg. Governor of Texas uh, announces we want to be the home of innovation and Bitcoin is the cutting edge of innovation. So Bitcoin is the cutting edge. Crypto narratives change quickly. AI L2 is game five, so you, you can check the different narratives here. And good presidents used to be re-elected. So great job, Nayib Bukele. Uh, he was re-elected in El Salvador. Bitcoin realized dominance. Bitcoin still has significant growth potential. So guys, that's it almost. And let's uh, take a look on the chat and let's see what we see there. Okay, so yes, so we break out this uh, 43,400, that was a resistance, and now already reached two major levels, and now we are reaching the next level that we used for this previous uh, breakout, but that was a fake out, so this is the local top, 
uh, at least on the four hourly so definitely definitely take a look on these levels and see if what will happen with this okay so guys i like this chart so definitely follow what's happening here and uh, with this i think we will get, have a chance uh, also breaking this for uh, 47,000 then uh, we will go higher at least weekend is coming so we already reached the price target of our last trade so take some profits and chill relax